Neptune. Of the many planets in our solar system, Neptune is not the most widely discussed. It is the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun, outside of Pluto. Like Uranus, Neptune is an ice giant, a subclass of giant planet, because it is smaller and has a higher concentration of volatiles than Jupiter and Saturn. In the search for extrasolar planets, Neptune has been used as a metonym. Discovered bodies of similar mass are often referred to as Neptunes, just as scientists refer to various extrasolar bodies as Jupiters. Like Jupiter and Saturn, Neptune's atmosphere is composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, along with traces of hydrocarbons and possibly nitrogen, but it contains a higher proportion of ices such as water, ammonia, and methane. However, its interior, like that of Uranus, is primarily composed of ices and rock, which is why Uranus and Neptune are normally considered ice giants to emphasize this distinction. Traces of methane in the outermost regions in part account for the planet's blue appearance. The mantle of the planet is equivalent to about 10 to 15 Earth masses and is rich in water, ammonia, and methane. As is customary in planetary science, this mixture is referred to as icy even though it is a hot, dense fluid. This fluid, which has high electrical conductivity, is sometimes called a water-ammonia ocean. The mantle may consist of a layer of ionic water in which the water molecules break down into a soup of hydrogen and oxygen ions, and deeper down, superionic water in which the oxygen crystallizes but the hydrogen ions float around freely within the oxygen lattice. At a depth of 7,000 kilometers, the conditions may be such that methane decomposes into diamond crystals that rain downwards like hailstones. Very high pressure experiments at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory suggest that the base of the mantle may be an ocean of liquid carbon with floating solid diamonds. Neptune's internal structure resembles that of Uranus. Its atmosphere forms about 5 to 10 percent of its mass and extends perhaps 10 to 20 percent of the way towards the core, where it reaches pressures of about 10 gigapascals, or about 100,000 times that of Earth's atmosphere. Increasing concentrations of methane, ammonia, and water are found in the lower regions of the atmosphere. Neptune's weather is characterized by extremely dynamic storm systems, with winds reaching speeds of almost 600 meters per second. In other words, that would be 2,200 kilometers per hour, or 1,300 miles per hour, nearly reaching supersonic flow. More typically, by tracking the motion of persistent clouds, wind speeds have been shown to vary from 20 meters per second in the easterly direction to 325 meters per second westward. At the cloud tops, the prevailing winds range in a speed from 400 meters per second along the equator to 250 meters per second at the poles. Most of the winds on Neptune move in a direction opposite the planet's rotation. The general pattern of winds shows prograde rotation at high latitudes versus retrograde rotation at lower latitudes. The difference in flow direction is thought to be a skin effect and not due to any deeper atmospheric processes. At 70 degrees latitude, a high-speed jet travels at a speed of 300 meters per second. The relative hot spot is due to Neptune's axial tilt which has exposed the South Pole to the Sun for the last quarter of Neptune's year, or roughly 40 Earth years. As Neptune slowly moves towards the opposite side of the Sun, the South Pole will be darkened and the North Pole illuminated, causing the methane release to shift to the North Pole. Neptune has a planetary ring system, though one much less substantial than that of Saturn. 
The rings may consist of ice particles coated with silicates or carbon-based material, which most likely gives them a reddish hue. The three main rings are the narrow Adams ring, which is 63,000 kilometers from the center of Neptune, the Le Verrier ring at 53,000 kilometers, and the broader, fainter Galley ring at 42,000 kilometers. A faint outward extension to the La Verrière ring has been named Lasso. It is bounded at its outer edge by the Arago ring at 57,000 kilometers. The existence of arcs was difficult to explain because the laws of motion would predict that arcs would spread out into a uniform ring over short time scales. Astronomers now estimate that the arcs are corralled into their current form by the gravitational effects of Galatea, a moon just inward from the ring. The first of these planetary rings was detected in 1968 by a team led by Edward Gwynion. In the early 1980s, analysis of this data, along with newer observations, led to the hypothesis that this ring might be incomplete. Evidence that the rings might have gaps first arose during a stellar occultation in 1984 when the rings obscured a star on immersion, but not on immersion. Images from Voyager 2 in 1989 settled the issue by showing several faint rings. These discoveries alone prove that both scientists and civilians alike should pay more attention to Neptune. Though not as enigmatic as its neighbors, the mighty ice giant deserves more recognition for its sheer uniqueness and potential for exploration. Be sure to subscribe for more Space Rewind and tell us in the comments what you would like to see next in an upcoming video.